my god, guys. I am walking with my Pokemon. Oh my god. Look at this. Walking with my Pokemon. Oh. 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 Snap. Oh, snap. You, have, you guys have no idea how this happened. I am walking with my Pokemon. No, no, no. It's not your me info. It's mine. No. Ugh. You ruined the moment. Pokemon White 2. Today we're going to be heading to, um, Yumilao City, right. <laughs> the name escaped me from him. Okay, so the X transceiver is ringing. Who could this be? John, where are you, dog? Adila Town? Got it. From there, go straight through the, mar ah, go straight through the marine tube and come straight to Yumilao City. Yeah, boy. Yee, boy. I'm in a very good mood today because, w number one, I've been able to record a uh, few parts of White 2 in a while. Number two, my background designer and, d and banner designer and stuff, he let me know that uh, he's going to be making me a new banner soon. So, you know, who doesn't love a new background and banner to go on their channel? And I had 12 subscribers today, which is a lot. first time in a couple weeks. I've had a little drought. I've only been gaining 5 subscribers a day. I mean, some of you guys may think, oh my god, 5 subscribers a day. But the streak that I've been on lately is just, ooh, it's amazing. And now it's just even awesomer because we have this awesome tube and this basculine and that frillish. It's kind of hard to see him because it's nighttime. And the music in here is abnormally loud for some reason. I don't know why, guys. It just is. Just the way it was composed, I guess. Did your Pokemon have a poison bar? But no, why would you ask that? That's like the most random thing that you could ever ask. Like, who asks, do you have a poison bar? But that's just... What? I mean, really? Hume Lao City is about to go heal my Pokemon, but I realize I don't need to. Yeah, that guy just wants to get the DNA splices right away. Uh, some people, I know <laughs> some people actually have difficulty getting to the next route. It's actually not that hard. Just come off here. I mean, there's multiple ways to get the next route. But all you have to do is just go off that letter. Come up this letter and boom, you're right there, Route 22. Yeah, let's walk the me and foo. Oh my god, guys. I am walking with my Pokemon. Oh my god. Look at this. Walking with my Pokemon. Oh, 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 snap. Oh, snap. You, have, you guys have no idea how this happened. I am walking with my Pokemon. No, no, no. It's not your me and foo. It's mine. No. Ugh, you ruined the moment. No, 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 I want to quit. If I can't take it with me, I want to get it outside the house. I wanted to steal it! I mean, really, everybody wants to be like Team Rocket and steal Pokemon nowadays, right? 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 Am I right? Yes, I am right. <laughs> it's like a question. It's on a math quiz. Uh, is like, is JPR A, is he right? B, he's right. C, he's right. Or D, he's right. And the answer is C, because it's always C. This is a shop? What? Well, he didn't try to sell anything, so... That's a bit odd. You go to a shop and they're not selling anything. Like, what is wrong with them? Where... 
is okay. This guy gives you a fun fest mission. Okay. Uh, that guy trades Mantine for Tangrowth. Uh, or maybe it's the other way around. I didn't really read that. Ooh, wrong way. <laughs> Here I was saying it's easy to navigate the city, and then I go mess up, and this guy comes up. Sup? You must be a challenge Pokemon Gym. I'm the gym leader Marlin. Sorry to make you go looking for me, yo. I was swimming with the Pokemon, and it felt real good. So I kept on going and going. I've been waiting in the gym, okay? Coolios, man. Coolios, broski. See, I can I can talk with, like that too. Yes, the move tutor. That is what I was looking for. I have 12 yellow shards, which I think gives me anything. Yes, it does. Drain punch! I need that drain punch, dude. Chuck can't learn drain punch, are you serious? Chuck can't learn drain punch, and neither can Hera Boss. What? I came all this way to learn drain punch, and now I can't learn it. Ugh. Okay, I can just take a Giga Drain, I guess. See, Nova can no Giga Drain, so. Wait, what was that other move? Oh, God. I, I should really look at these carefully before I actually make a decision. Heat Wave. That was the other one. Eh. Nah, I'll come back later. And I should really give Nova the lucky egg. Or does he already have it? He already has it. Okay. Good. But somehow, he was damaged, and I did not know that. I did not know that he was damaged. That kind of sucks. But hopefully that solves all problems like it should. Then we go into this aquarium-like place. See, I like this gym. It's like a little R&R &R before you get to the Pokemon League. You're approaching the climax of the game, you know? It, it, it's a little... It's, it's calming. It, plus, it kind of reflects Marlin's carefree nature. Marlin is like a human Ludicolo, almost. That's what he is. He's a human Ludicolo. See? See how Nova is so underleveled? Nova needs to take advantage of these Pokemon and level up. Okay, that's not a good way to start it off. You couldn't even one hit KO this guy, but I doubt Razor One's gonna do that, so. Yeah. I remember playing Pokemon Rumble Blast a few months ago, and I discovered the, like, Razor Wind is, like, the best move in that game. I'm not lying, guys. If you... You know what I'm talking about. Like, if you have a Pokemon that knows Razor Wind in that game, it's amazing. Like, there's no stopping that Pokemon. Because, like, it makes, like, this little barrier of wind around you and you can just run to anything and like automatically kills it that's that's how awesome razor wind is i mean you can just go back and forth hitting people it's just like the perfect move in that game if you have razor wind then nothing gonna stop you nothing gonna stop you i think uh fracture and haxorus do it the best This gym is actually not that hard. I was kind of disappointed at the Unova Gym puzzles. None of the Unova Gym puzzles were really that tough. Although I think if I thought of one hard enough... Uh, I guess the first Drift Veil Gym was pretty tricky. The first Drift Veil... Actually, both the Drift Veil Gems. Both the Drift Veil Gems. Uh, maybe the new Miss Stralton Gym. Uh, not the Ice Gym, not Bryson's Gym, because, you know, after a while I get used to the Ice thing, you know how it works, and you know what to expect. So, yeah, there's that. And hopefully this guy 
It's gonna get critted by this energy board. It's gonna die, but no, on my left, that won't happen. Oh, it almost happened. Almost happened. But it seems this guy's special defense is lower than his defense, so keep on energy balling. Now, I would go for a high jump kick, but I don't want to. Try attack, what? It's a little most random move. He just uses nature power and it turns into try attack. This is something you get in the Striaton gym. Try attack, but uh. I don't know about it in here. I don't know why it's selected try attack. Normally, if you're inside a building, it gets earthquake. Like, if you're in a Wi Fi battle and you use nature power, it almost always turns into earthquake. Actually, I think it does always turn into earthquake. Whoa! That water. Game Freak has done a very good job with improving graphics and stuff like water. They have made me proud. Something tells me I went the wrong way. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. I remember now. I pushed in the lily back to the other side so I can cross, so no. I did not go the wrong way, guys. But at the same time, you don't have to battle the strainer. It's optional. I have the sinking feeling this guy's gonna hit me with an ice beam. I'm gonna die. Swagger! TM87! I was singing that the other day. It's just It just popped into my brain. <laughs> and I was singing it for like no reason at all. Finally! Nova, you are not emo anymore! You finally broke through! Yes! Nova, you awesome person! Thank you so much for not hitting yourself for the first time in God knows when. My emo sauce buck. If you guys didn't know about my emo sauce buck, then... Yeah, now you do. Now you do, okay? And this ace trainer lady thinks she's all that. Ugh. Aw, oh, Pelipper, you suck. I hate Pelippers. And do you know why I hate Pelippers? Supersonic. Supersonic is the same reason we all hate Zubats, right? Supersonic. And Swagger. Stockpile, Swagger, and Supersonic. SSS. That's how you remember it. Just remember that, guys. Remember SSS. You're trying to think, why do I hate Pillipers? SSS. Stockpile. Swagger. And Supersonic. Yeah. Uh, I should have switched into Nova, because, you know, Nova, we're getting ready to face the Team Plasma people, and Nova, as you can tell, does not do very well against Team Plasma people, because they use, uh, those, um, those, what's it called? Th those Poison-type Pokemon, right? They use Poison-type Pokemon most of the time. And so it's very hard for Nova to get EXP by battling them. So when Nova can get EXP, I got to make sure that he gets it. Also keep that in mind if Superior was your starter. If Snivy, if you chose Snivy and uh you made it a superior, then that's just too bad. I mean Superior's great no. I love Superior. Sup although I think Superior was a bigger force in black and white. There weren't as many counters to him in black and white version. Black 2 and White 2, we fell down the ladder just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not by a much, but just a little bit. But he's still my favorite out of three. Like, when I saw, um... See, in fourth generation, I have a story to as I why I don't like Oshawott. In fourth generation, they introduced Piplup, uh, Chimchar, and Turtwig. And Piplup was the only one that I liked. I saw Piplup and I was like, oh, that, that one looks pretty cool. I'm going to use Piplup. 
So I used Piplup, and I soon discovered that it sucks. And so then, when they announced the fifth generation, I see Tepig, Snivy, and Oshawa. Actually, their names were Sujara, uh, Pokabu, and Mijimaru. And Mijimaru, aka Oshawa, great, no, but you're being uh, emo again. Great. But uh, as I was saying, so yeah, I saw Mijimaru or Oshawa, and I just saw it. And it looks so much like Piplup. Like, it was just unbelievable. It looked like Piplup in, like, every way. That circle head, and... It's hard to tell a story when your emo Pokemon keep hitting your themselves. It's like... It's like, God, what is wrong with you? You need help. Nova, you need help. You need serious help. I mean, he got my hopes up and everything. Has he completely... Neglected that wall rain and did it and now against this Starmie He can't do anything against the Starmie because he always hits himself because he's an emo Pokemon Back to the story though And you don't even kill that Starmie <sighs> Stop using confuse right I can't tell the story Back to the story. Okay, good. Back to the story. So yeah, I saw Oshawott, and I just had this flashback to Piplup. And I was like, no, no, Oshawott, no. You are too much like Piplup. So the reason I don't like Oshawott is actually because I don't like Piplup. That's the only reason why. I loved Piplup. Piplup was like a brother to me. But do you know what he did? Do you know what Piplup did? He took my soul and he shattered it. I had high expectations for Piplup. And Piplup failed me. And I feared that the exact same thing would happen with Oshawa. I'll admit, Oshawa is much better than Piplup. Now I see it that way. But you know, the first impression always conquers all, so... Snivy remains my favorite. And Tepig I've never liked. Tepig is cool. Well, Tepig has gotten cooler, but I, I, I didn't like him in the beginning. In fact, I still don't like him that much. I'm sorry for any of you huge Tepig fans out there. If you guys are Tepig fans, then I am so sorry because I don't like him at all. We just have too many pig... Too many pig Pokemon. Too many pig Pokemon. And... We just didn't need any more. And then Game Freak was like, yep, let's make Tepig. And then, you know what else? Let's make it firefighting for the third freaking generation in a row. So yeah, that's another thing, the firefighting. It was cool when they did it with Blaziken, and oh my god, Nova, you boss. So yeah, it was cool when they did it with Blaziken. Blaziken was awesome, and then they did it again with Infernape. It was like, okay, that's still pretty cool. Then they did it again with Embor. It's like, ah, It's like, stop, Game Freak, stop, okay? You used up your... You used up your coolness. I don't know. Not as cool. Not their coolness. What am I talking about? No, they're still cool. They they're still making some cool Pokemon. I'm just talking about they used up the firefighting. They used it up. It was amazing, and then they used it up. That is my rant on firefighting Pokemon. My god, Nova, he needs an elixir before I start battling this gym leader. Ether, same thing. I don't even, I still don't know the difference between elixir and ether. I mean, they've always seemed the same to me. They always seem the same. See, now that's not too hard now, is it, guys? Marlon, the biracial gym leader. Look at that. He's white. Look at his sandals. Look at him. He's white. He's just a bad tan. Like us Italians, we get bad tans. So, you know, that's why Marlon has the tan. Because he's Italian. I don't know for sure. I'm just guessing. 
And this guy, right off the bat, thinks that he can use Shell Smash, and he'll just be whoopty freaking do. He'll be fine. But you know what? That's not that's not how it is. That is not how it is. Because we're gonna use Nature Power, and it turns into Tri Attack. I just forgot that. Crap. <sighs> I thought it was gonna be Earthquake. God. That sucks. Oh, but it freezes him! You suck! Although it doesn't really matter because we're still faster than him. I really thought this Shell Smash would make him faster, but it doesn't. Because Nova's a boss, that's why. As long as he doesn't get confused. Or use High Jump Kick. Because we all know how Nova likes to hurt himself. I keep on saying himself. It's a female. I've never acknowledged that. Well, I've seen it, it's just I never really remember. And this, this whale lord just tries to forget everything by using amnesia. He tries to forget everything. He tries to forget that he's facing Nova. But, you know, you can't forget. When you are trapped with Nova, then you just can't get out. There's no way out of Nova's room of torture. Yeah, go ahead. Use your berry. Use your berry. You're gonna need it. You are gonna need it. Nova doesn't care about the skull. The skull doesn't... Oh, watch it burn me. Watch it burn me. It doesn't burn me. Okay, good. Good! 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 It's time for things to change. It's time for the luck to turn around. It's time for Nova to kick some butt. And you know what he did in this episode? That's right. He kicked some butt. Give me that badge! Give me that badge, boy! Yeah! This is a very nice looking gym badge. Except it resembles the Cascade badge too much. If you're gonna make a wave badge, make it look like a wave. Otherwise, call it the Dewdrop thing. And he thinks he's so cool. He's like Alder. His hair sticking up. <sighs> that Marlon.